All right, all right, all right. What's happening, pokes? I said pokes. I meant to say folks, ladies, gentlemen, people of the world. It's your main man and uncle named Mo. And as usual, if you couldn't tell by now, we are going to be playing some uh, Fall Guys and Among... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're, we're finishing off this uh, Mario 64 multiplayer split screen. Not even... Well, Moxie's going to be doing split screen. I don't know about me. Maybe I'll ask him to render another thing but uh as of right now yeah it's me and moxie of nintendo duo a frequent collaborator i've been doing a lot of stuff with and uh we're playing mario 64's pc port co-op mod as you can see i am in TikTok clock i died the last time and then that's when we both agreed let's just take a break uh the first couple parts i played is waluigi i just switched to luigi recently so uh yeah we're gonna be having some some f and the cool thing is, they made Luigi like they did in Mario 64, so they gave him better jump height, and they gave him the, the scuttle and the backflip. It's so fun. And I'm going to be using the backflip a lot, because in the DS game, you can cheese a lot of the stars with the backflip. Playing as well Luigi was fun, though, I will admit, although... The, like, he, the only real benefit of him was to having the... the so-called, like, triple jump out of a wall jump, sort of. Which was cool and everything, but uh, it was kind of weird because I also died a lot and they nerfed the height of Waluigi and Mario, but Wa Mario and Luigi have their usual jump heights. I think Luigi is the better jumper in this case. But, uh, oop, and I can use a scuttle, save a bit of momentum. And I just got those blue coins, awesome. Oh wait, now this, this thing's gonna come get me, right? Shoot! Okay. That, that, that guy, that little red guy, he is hell at this stage, because that means starting over if you get, you know, if you don't land anywhere perfectly. Ooh, mamma mia. But yeah, we had a decent uh, BRB session. I had uh, a cool potato bun. It, it's weird. There's like this Chinese bakery near me, and uh, it, what, what I'll do like once a week is I'll just pick up a bunch of vegetarian buns they have, because I stopped eating meat like half a year ago, and... Uh, no, are you kidding me? I- No! I hit an invisible wall and I have to start all that crap over again. I am freaking pissed, man. Oh, that was a pain. That's a pain. Another flaw with Mario 64. Sometimes there are just invisible walls for no reason. Maybe I should switch to the, to the other camera mode. I don't know. I don't care. I know we can get this game done tonight, it'll probably take a couple more hours, but we, I, I'm confident, because we still ignored a lot of the earlier and easier stages, or uh, sort of. I'm getting the difficult ones done, and Moxie is uh, breezing through <laughs> Shifting Sandland, or Lethal Lava Land, I don't know wherever he is now. We'll find out. Oh, uh... Oh, man. Uh, okay, you're entering, you're just doing more Lethal Lava Land. It shows that on the screen, too. But yeah, where was I going before I got interrupted by hitting an invisible wall and dying at the stage for the third time? Uh, yeah, so like, basically, there's a, there's a Chinese bakery near me, and I'll get the vegetarian buns they have sometimes. Uh, usually it's just the potato curry ones that are the best, but, uh... But, you know, sometimes they'll have, like, garlic bread, and that's cool, and, you know, stuff like that. But, uh... Yeah, I've been eating a lot of those for breakfast, because it's easier than me having to, like, make something in the morning. And I just had, because I had a spare in the fridge, I'm like, oh, I'll have it now. Midnight snack. I had, uh, that, and damn you, Luigi, this is so stupid, I am dying at this. But, uh, yeah, I had that, and I had a couple of nachos that were in the fridge. Honestly, nachos are great. I even talked to one of the guys at a retro game store about them. I could eat nachos all day, every day. I'm, I'm like Beavis and Butthead when it comes to nachos. <laughs> if anything, that's what me and Moxie are right now. We're just Beavis and Butthead at this game. We're just taking forever and not doing anything <laughs> correctly. He got two stars, though. That's good. Uh. Hey, Beavis, we should, like, uh, get some stars or something. <laughs> That's a bad butt. Okay, when it comes to character impersonations, like I can't do much, but I can do, I can do, I can do a pretty good Principal McVicker. I don't know if I want to do it now because it means I have to like raspize my voice. Ah, uh, oh, what the hell? I'll attempt it. Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, Beavis and Butthead. 
Uh, you're, you're both expelled until, uh, yeah, 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 get out of here. I don't want to see you bastards again. Uh, <laughs> I can try, but I, like, I, I'll probably wake people up. <laughs> You'll hear my McVicker impression another day. <laughs> Might as well put, put McVicker in the thumbnail then. You just have to sound like you have high anxiety and you're in your 40s and like drink every morning. Apparently that's what Mike Judge based the character off of, apparently. Just like a guy at his high school that like did nothing but like just drink all the time. And he was like, oh, you know, he had that like nervousness in him. I don't know. I, I like Beavis and Butthead's a mate. Like the thing is, I grew up watching a lot of Mike Judge shows and uh... Like, like, here's the thing, I, I, I watched King of the Hill the most, because I had, like, the DVD sets of those. And then I remember watching Daria a lot on the Canadian equivalent of MTV. I don't know, I just remember watching it, it played on as soon as I got back after school, and I'm like, cool, I want to watch this show, you know, it's funny. You know, average... Uh, Daria is such an amazing character. I'm not gonna wall jump there, that's too risky. But, uh... Yeah, Daria and Jane and the regular... P it, it, it's such a fun show, I really should rewatch it, but, uh... I don't know, but then honestly, I, I just I just I mean I knew about Beavis and Butthead, obviously. I just never was able to watch the show because you know it didn't air on TV over here, and uh, and thank God I got that. And uh, no, no, no! Oh my God, that was terrible! I just ground pounded instead of long jumped, and I hate when that happens. Oh whatever, just get the hearts. I'll be here for like another ten minutes. But yeah, like, I, I, I grew up with King of the Hill and Daria mostly, and I discovered Beavis and Butthead, well, rather not discover, but I got into watching Beavis and Butthead in the past couple of years. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, better late than never. Again, because I found the DVDs at, like, a record store, and I'm like, hey, can I buy this? And, and the guy there I know him well, he's like, yeah, sure, I'll put it on hold for you. And uh, he put it on hold longer than the average hold time. Shout out to Cliff, you were awesome. <laughs> And I started watching the Mike Judge collection, then I remember just looking up clips for YouTube, and Beavis and Butthead is, it's, it's a, it's peak stupid comedy, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's humor that, that'll make anyone laugh, even though it's kind of dumb. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, people making butt jokes, and, uh, and the, the occasional, like, in, like, you know, obvious reference, like, I am Cornolio! <laughs> Are you threatening me? <laughs> Saying, Are you threatening me is perfect. Okay, hey, Luigi, I'm gonna need you to... Thank you. Let me not mess up and hit some jank wall and mess up my entire progress again. Who am I kidding? I have the Luigi backflip, too. And I should probably work with a, one of the other camera modes that this, uh, this port offers. Because, again, this is not a... <gasps> I almost died. I almost died from that. Backflip to be safe. That was so stupid. Oh, okay, I just saw your message in chat, Moxie. Daria rules. Yeah, Daria was a great show. I, I really should rewatch it. It was like... Because Be actually, that was the, the first spin-off of Beavis and Butthead. Because uh, Daria was a character in that show, but she was very, like... She wasn't as, like, uh, eccentric as she was in her own show, right? But uh, definitely fun in either... I don't know. I can relate to Daria. I, I was... I don't, I don't want to say, like, that I was, but I was, like... I was like the guy equivalent of Daria, I had like, very few friends. <laughs> oh yeah, I watched the first movie. I watched the first movie, mostly on YouTube, which means I missed out on a couple scenes because it's a crappy YouTube upload, but uh... Ah, uh, Luigi, please wall jump. But uh, yeah, I watched the first Beavis and Butthead movie, really funny stuff. Yeah. And, and they're, they're having another one, they're having another one in like the next year or two or something. Luigi, I'm gonna need you to jump. <laughs> Up here? Yeah, the, the, the first Beavis and Butthead movie is great. Yeah, yeah, the preview of the second one. It looks alright. It has it has a newer animation style, which I'm not against, but... I feel like the old animation style just suits it better. You know, I'm not I'm not against the, the, the 2008 reboot or anything. Is there a star over Yeah, it's not coins. But, you know, it, it, like, s sometimes old animation just has more charm. Kind of like the original Ren and Stimpy compared to Ren and Stimpy's crappy adult spinoff, or... Like, early Simpsons compared to, uh, you know, modern Simpsons. You know, yeah, even though the animation's technically improved, th it had charm, it had pizzazz. So, you know, it's gonna be based off the newer Beavis and Butthead. The writing is still gonna be genius, you know, unlike modern Simpsons, you know. 
But yeah, M Mike Judge is probably going to be behind it. We may see a bunch of characters. I don't know if I have a favorite Beavis and Butthead character. Like, I like the protagonists in that show, but they're just like... I don't know who, which I like more. I, like, Butthead's the more intellectual one, even though they're both really stupid. But, uh, and then Beavis is... I don't know, I think Beavis has just the better delivery, and he's always, like, the punching bag character, you know. But, uh, I'd have to say my favorites are probably... McVicker and Van Dreesen. Because Van Dreesen, he's just like me, he's just a hippie. <laughs> he's just a hippie who's too easy on everything. Like, it, very rarely is he rude. I think in one episode he, uh... Oh, I'm almost at 100 coins. But uh, in one episode, he was—he got into a fight with 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 the guy who was teaching about manners. So that was kind of funny. So it's fun to see Van Dreesen and all the funny stuff that he's in. Like he gets himself into, whether it's because he's too nice or he just loses it every now and then. Uh, what's hot log rolling? You know that one you can actually technically get with the wing cap if you want to. You can get the wing cap and you can jump on that pillar where the little you know the pillar when you. I don't know. But you have to go to the other side of the... It's, it's so awkward to explain, Moxie. Like, go to... When you enter the stage, go, like, northeast or something, if that makes sense. And then there's, like, a bunch of logs you have to step on. Right? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's so hard to explain. But, uh, yeah. You see it? Okay, yeah. Again, you can technically get it with the wing cap, which is what I always do, but, uh... It's okay. You don't have to speedrun just because I'm trying to. But yeah, but yeah, I was talking about Beavis and Butthead because um, while I'm on the topic, uh, yeah, so, uh, like, I like Van Dreesen's character, and, like, he's, he, he's definitely, I, I, like, I had a teacher just like Van Dreesen, except without the long hair. He rarely snapped, and if he did, like, him being piss mad is, like, an average person being upset, so you, you'd really have to piss him off to get him mad. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the clock's gonna be moving either. Damn it, it's gonna be moving. I'm just gonna die. I hate doing it when the clock's moving. But my other favorite character would probably have to be McVicker. <laughs> I know, it's stupid to say. But but I like it because he's basically the... Like, there's a lot of TV shows, like, in a high school setting that have, like, the principal is a bad guy or something. But he's perfect because not only is he, like, against Beavis and Butthead and he, like, you know, hates them. Uh, like, like, here's the thing. Principal Skinner from The Simpsons is a fun character and, like... Yeah, he has, like, you know, he's against what Bart does 90% of the time. But, oh, you got it. Nice, nice. But, like, at the same time, there's a good amount of chemistry between Skinner and some of the other characters, and we get to see his, like, nicer side and stuff, and the fact that he was a veteran and stuff like that. But, uh, Van Dreesen, he's just a, a drug addict. He, again, he's popping pills and drinking at, like, 9 in the morning, uh, like, having heart attacks about Beavis and Butthead that are causing damage in the school. I don't know, I just like the character. Like, I like villains, usually, in, in shows like this, and again, he's no Sideshow Bob or anything, but, uh, but he doesn't need to be, he just needs to be that old crabby guy, <laughs> you know? Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'm a vicar. I remember, I remember that, uh, that scene in one of the Burger World episodes where it's like, uh, he, he orders, I forget what he orders, but I remember he said stuff like with no pickles and like extra cheese or something like that. And like, is it me or does like everyone hate pickles? <laughs> Cause like I remember as a kid I hated pickles like when getting burgers, but then I think one time I was so hungry that like my mom's friend she threw the pickles off her burger and I was just, can I eat this? And I'm like, yeah sure, go for it. And I'm like, like that's the first time I remember eating pickles and liking them just cause I tried them out of disparity. You hate pickles too, Moxie? Damn, everyone hates pickles. I don't know, but uh, I got used to them. Like, once I ate them because I was starving, I'm like, these aren't that bad. <laughs> yeah, because the, the, again, he ordered, like, something without pickles in the show, and, uh... I remember I wanted to do, like, a... I'm not sure if I should still do this, because I'm not sure if it'll seem dated. But I want to do, like, a version where, like, he's at the drive-thru and I'll impersonate him, and I'll say, I'll have, uh, two number nines, uh, number nine large! <laughs> uh, I might as well, I'll try to do that, I'll record something over the weekend, I don't know. I'm not on the internet to make content for you people, I'm here to entertain myself and to upload whatever Moxie can't afford to put on his main channel. <laughs> like all the playthroughs we've done of Donkey Kong Country and uh, I don't know what else have I uploaded that we've done together. Uh, uh, there was another thing, it was uh, the Mario Kart matches which he had footage of, uh, Smash Rema- I can't remember if I uploaded that or not. Luigi, you just- that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Luigi just bonked on that wall and fell. 
And I, I had perfect potential to get two stars there. I just have to walk in, by the way, so I, I don't I don't have to worry about timing this a whole lot. Perfect. Yeah, I'm sucking at this stage, but that's also because it's one of the jankier stages. It's a fun stage, it's just really hard. <laughs> but what stars do I have here? I have, like, three of them, and I need to get, like, a few more. Oh, boy. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead was a great show. Like, even today's generation of kids, you can probably, like, watch Beavis and Butthead with them and be fine. There's also a million ways to get this star, too. When I play as Mario in these, I'll usually go up to, like, there and a long jump and I'll land there perfectly, but if you're... And you can also jump from up there and kick it out there perfectly, right? But with Luigi, and I remember doing this in the DS version a lot, all I have to do... is this, and not die. There we go! Luigi, number one. I got half the stars, or most of the stars, with, well, a, ch a good chunk of the stars I got with Waluigi, so maybe I'll cycle through and I'll play as one of the other characters eventually. Please do not be moving, TikTok clock. Thank you. I haven't gotten the cage star? Oh yeah, that isn't the cage star, that's to get a hand star. So I know what other stars I'm getting. I'm fine. Why did Luigi just do that super jump? I just wanted to do a kick. That's another thing, this game is kind of picky when you try to do certain inputs. Eh, no big deal. Again, th this game isn't perfect by any means, but it's it's a much beloved platformer and I absolutely love it. And I'll play this game more than any other 3D Mario game, it is so replayable. Like, to I remember playing it a lot as a teenager when I had friends and I used to try to get into speedrunning, but obviously I don't take speedrunning seriously at all. But uh, I used to play this game every day to try to get better, and I think I made it to like... I'm not sure if the record is still there, but like... For the 16 star run, I made it within the top 250 users on the leaderboard. Someone's probably already beaten, but it's on the Wii U Virtual Console version. Which people don't like playing a whole lot. Invisible wall right there, damn you. But uh, yeah, I remember getting like top 250 and I'm like, that's pretty good for like a leaderboard of a certain category on a certain version of the game, you know, it's not bad. It wasn't perfect, but it's like, hey, you know, I can play this game good. That's all I really needed, just the attribution. I have to get two more stars here and it'll take a while. Maybe I'll switch to the other camera, like the freeform one, I don't know. We'll see. And then I'll go downstairs and help out Moxie, because there's only a few more stages to get up here. But I'll, I'll do them later. I'll, 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 I'll do some of the stages that, that Moxie's been struggling on. Because I hate doing Shifting Sand Land, but, uh, but, you know, it's gotta be done. That's just a motto of life, you know, you hate doing it, but it's gotta be. Like, no one else will do it. Like, half the stuff at work, like, I have to just... Because I know other people have the capability of doing it, but they're not gonna do it because they're just sometimes too lazy. I am, like, the greatest worker at my work, no offense. Moxie, you hate sand. I, I understand. I kind of hate sand, too. I haven't been to a beach in forever. I really uh, dislike sand myself. If I would go to a beach, I would need to get, like, protective footwear. I don't know. You are Darth Vader. <laughs> the force is strong with the sand. <laughs> Luigi, can you wall jump, you stupid... ...excuse for a plumber? kind of plumber can't even wall jump? Thank you. Alright, ugh. We halfway- we're over halfway through the game now, that's good. We've only been recording for three parts and this is the third and we're 18 minutes, alright. I just have to get one more. And voila. Uh oh. Mm. Mm. I hate when that happens. A little bit of phlegm just gets through ya. Yuck. I know it's gross, but it happens to everybody. And I'm not getting sick either, I just, you know, sometimes you just cough up a little bit of extra mucus. Well, now that the disgusting talk is out of the way, what, what can we tangent about? I don't know. Because it's a commentary on this thing, so it doesn't have to be, like, perfect talk, you know? But, uh... We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Ooh, Luigi, you are too... Slipping fast, man. But, uh, I don't know, I'll find something. You know, sometimes you don't need to talk about topics, sometimes they just come naturally. I mean, I just talked about Beavis and Butthead for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and we're trying to 
crappily impersonate Principal McVickert. <laughs> Please, can I make this? Luigi. Well, who am I kidding? This game also has like a, you need to be frame perfect with these wall jumps, and I almost would have died. But I'm almost done with this stupid stage. And then again, I'll do a couple of ones downstairs. I'll save some of the easier stages for last. I remember one time when I played this game, I think, when I played it on actual cartridge, uh, like not too long ago. I was playing, and I beat the game in like five hours, but I remember like, I, I got done, I did most of the stages in order, and I'm like, wait, I got done these stages, but I, I, I'm still missing a bunch of stars, and then I realized, I forgot to do Big Boo's Haunt, you know, the fifth stage in the game, <laughs> and I went down, and I did it, and it was easy, but uh, yeah, just sometimes you forget. Remember one time I was speedrunning, uh, like I did a 120 star run, and I got it done like four hours or something, which wasn't bad. Damn you, Luigi. But uh, I remember I missed one star on Tall Tall Mountain, and I'm like, oh crap, and that's, that set me back by five minutes, but <laughs> again, I'm not a speedrunner, I'm not a Chris Felucci perfectionist, okay? That's the thing with speedrunners, sometimes they're just like, they hate themselves so much. <laughs> like, if I got a world record at something, and it, w it was like, you know, like, any kind of world record, like, it could be for anything, or even if I just got a personal best, or like, you know, a top 30 record or something, I'd be like, yeah, that was awesome, you know, did better, all that stuff, yeah. But speedrunners, they'll be, like, on world record pace, and, like, at the last, like, 10 minutes of a game, damn you, Luigi, and at the last 10 minutes of the game, if they choke once, they'll just be so frustrated and quick restart and be like, ah, and, like, hate themselves. Yeah, you have to hate yourself to be a speedrunner, because a speedrunner can get a world record and be like, Alright, let's try to do another PB next run. Like, really? You just got world record at something that's probably going to be really hard to top, and you want to beat yourself by, like, two seconds because you died at one stage? Like, yeah, it's like, I hate speedrunners. They're just so, like, like, they give me bad vibes. So, like, you know, you can play a game and you can play it at any pace, but if you're going to take it seriously to the point where, like, Luigi, why are, I, I am... I messed up on the same jump five times, and I hate this, and I'm one star away from the stupid stage. I've been here for, like, half an hour. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? I can try backflipping. Maybe. Let's find out. Wait, I just realized the game isn't... It's playing from OBS. I... I wanted to play with it in the other screen, so I have a bit better resolution. Not not too much. It's not lagging out. Again, I've, I've complimented this port too much. Okay, thank god, I just had to extend my jump a bit. No invisible wall there that time either. I am fine. Awesome. Thank god. Oh. That, that took a lot of stress out of me. Ah, okay, let me check what other stars are done and not done. Tick-tock clock, rainbow ride, uh, Babon Battlefield, we got those done. You're almost done with Lethal Lava Land, uh, I might help you. You're almost done with Shifting Sand Land too, alright, not bad, Mox, uh, hmm. Okay, so, uh, I'm guessing you don't have 100 coins in either of the stages. Let me know if you have 100 coins in Lethal Lava or that, and I'll just do the other one. Nope, okay, um, if you want, you can move on to other stages if you if you want to, and I can just do those, because you got most of the other stars out of the way, which means I just have to focus on getting those. Up to you. Oh, I'm down for variety. You know what we can do, actually? Let's meet up somewhere in the lobby, quickly. Uh, you're in the basement. I'll, I'll meet up with you there, just so we can look at each other and sync up the footage properly a little bit. Although I think we'll be able to... Not the lobby, I mean the, the basement lobby, where you are, like... Where, where the Bowser star door is. Let's just meet up here for a sec. I think we'll also be able to sync easily if uh, we look at the star count, because I think the star count syncs up perfectly. So worst case, if you have trouble syncing, just look at the stars and whenever we both grab them, that's when you have to layer the video footage. Noxy, where are you? I'm here. I'm in the basement. Wait, let's play hide and go seek. Maybe you won't be able to find me. Oh shit, I'm in clear sight. Tablet died in while oh that's stupid. Ugh. <laughs> uh, whack. 
Well, I'm, uh, let me know where, uh, I'm going to try to hide. Can I do this? Maybe I'll hide here. Can this work? Nah, I'm not going to bother with the hide and seek thing. Uh, where are you? Are you in... Can you view where players are? Options, camera, display... What's the display option? Oh, wow, you can control the frame rate, full screen. Not bad. You can change the draw distance. Okay, that's actually cool. Back? Okay, where are you, Mox? I'm waiting in the entrance of the basement area. In front of Lethal Lava? Okay, I'll meet you there. And, uh, again, like I said, we, we should just be able to get better sync footage so you can synchronize it, but, uh, if the star counter syncs up, then I think... Let me get the stupid bunny. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, damn you. Uh, one of us has to get it. Ooh, but you know what? If I can chase him down here... Yes! Alright, you can get the star there if you want to. Awesome. I'm just carrying the boon. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, up to you, because I'm, I'm gonna. Okay, you just punched me, bitch. Okay, <laughs> but, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, I can do lethal lava and that. I'll do shifting sand land first, I guess. You can move on to whatever stage you want to. Uh, let me know where you're gonna go, though, uh, so I know where you are. There's a bunch of stages. The, the whole top floor is unlocked, by the way. You want to do Lethal Lava? Hmm, you know what? You're doing the el Wait, the elevator. Oh, that's the volcano one. Wait, uh, let me check. You're on the... Well, here's the thing. Uh, try to get 100 coins first, which means if you're going into the volcano, just get as many coins as you can on the surface. Like, get, like, around 90 or so. You can probably get most of the coins on the surface. And then I'll do Shifting Sand, and then you just go into the Volcano afterwards. Even though I can technically get the Volcano Star by just doing a cheap strat. Uh, but it's okay, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> not gonna show off all the speedrunning skills. I'm gonna do Shifting Sand Land, or as I like to call it, Shitty Sand Land. Because I really hate this mission. If you die, like, you, it takes forever to get the coins. I don't know. It's not a bad stage. It's, see, look at that. I died right there, because I just went too far. Even though I was perfectly controlling where I can go. I don't know, I'm an idiot. Huh. Let's Look at it on the plus side. I think we're. I think we'll be because I'm not doing anything tomorrow, except for like you know I have to go to bed early tomorrow, but that's fine. Like it's midnight. I can I can stay up until whenever. And then yeah, we'll, we'll probably finish this tonight. Uh, send footage and yeah. Mm hmm. Whoop. Boing. Oop. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Cause here's the thing, if I if I like fall in sand, I gotta start this whole thing over again. Same thing goes with inside the pyramid. And I know I can get most of the coins outside of the pyramid without any trouble. But uh again it can be Kill this stupid guy. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> okay. I see you're entering the castle basement again. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, it's okay. Luigi, he's uh, doing his damn well best, and he's uh, getting these power stabs. I mean, stars. Because <laughs> I think his art. Yeah, I, no, never mind that. It, it was a reference to a family guy thing, you know, the death stab because of a typo. But then I realized R isn't next to B. You know, there's some keys that are next to each other and that can make for some funny typos, like, uh... Like, uh... uh <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm not... I'm not I'll am i bring it up because it's, it's fine to bring up. There was essentially this thing on Nintendo Twitter. I never used Twitter back in the day, and I don't really use it now, but, uh... Basically, there was the whole, like, hashtag for Waluigi Wednesday or Wiggler Wednesday, except they misspelled Wiggler because they forgot the the L. <laughs> and, uh, someone probably got fired that day. <laughs> it, it was, it, it's, it, it, it's so stupid. And the thing is, you wouldn't even notice it. 
you wouldn't even notice it like 90% of the time because like I like like you know especially with me with dyslexia it's like you know I can't really read everything perfect but uh, yeah <laughs> okay come on can you jump thank you oh, please do not get hit by the flame chomp I just want to get onto the pillar and then I'll get a couple of the red coins later Actually, who am I kidding? I'll kill some of the Pokies, too. Most of the red coins... Wait, you didn't get the red coin star. Oh, crap. Uh, I'll get the red coins after I get the hundred, then. It's not gonna be that hard. Getting the red coins themselves are easy, but getting them while trying to, like, get uh, the other stars can be a pain. Where oh, I already killed that guy. You know what I could try to do? This is going to be really risky. Especially with this stupid camera. Yeet! Awesome. What did I just- No! I hate that, I hate that, I shouldn't have done it! Oh. Anxiety attack. Hmm. Man. We're already 31 minutes into this other recording, and, and I've gotten how many stars? I got, like, 30 stars on my own the first recording, and now I'm at... And now look at me, I'm dying on Shifting Sandland. I hate this stage. I hate this vision. Ugh. We can get this game done. I have faith. Even if not for you, I know I can get a good chunk of this taken care of. Tiny Huge Island's kind of going to be a pain for me, but... Uh, It's okay. Maybe I should play with the other camera, I don't know. Can I at least get these? Come on, bomb. There you go, bomb, he blew up. Ooh, okay, he that bomb just al qaeda into that shy guy. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that they could do that. I, I thought they would have to just hit you for that. Wow. That poor shy guy. Hey, Pokey, can you get hit? Alright. Yeah. Oh man. Ah. <sighs> Janitor Warts. Yeah, pretty, pretty much this whole time we've been playing as the Janitor Warts crew, which is our, our Mario Strikers unofficial team. Because I know Kez has the official Nintendo Duo Club thing, but uh, I have Janitor Warts because I decided... I, I think I already told Moxie the story like in another thing, but... Uh, like, day one on the new Mario Strikers game, like, I played the online and a lot of people were just giving their teams, like, immature names for the sake of it. Like, uh... Like, uh, what was one of them? Like, Tug and Rub, and, and, uh, like, like, I don't know, just inappropriate names and stuff. I'm trying to remember another one, I think. Yeah, like the whole Ligma stuff, and, you know, dumb humor like that. And then I remembered, okay, well, I want to come up with a funny name for my team, but I don't want it to be obviously inappropriate. And then I'm like, what about play on words? What can I do? And then I remember that one scene from Family Guy where, like, Peter was, like, you know, at a wedding saying, like, you know, to the part where if anyone objects, you know, please speak your opinion, and then Peter's like, Really? Nobody's gonna speak up. I'm gonna be the one that has to say it. Alright! And then he just screams genital warts at the top of his lungs. <laughs> and then because it kinda sounds like, because Peter has like that thick Boston accent, kinda, it sounded like he was screaming janitor warts. <laughs> I don't know, it was comedy. And then I just decided to name the team after that. Okay, can I, can I at least get the shell? Oh yeah, I was gonna... Ooh, no, no. Is the blue coin still there? Eee, that's risky. I, I am playing the risk game right now. I'm playing a lot of risk games right now. I'm gonna wanna just... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get that other red coin. The one that was... Because I'm playing with a better camera now. Please don't die. 
<laughs> Did I just- I, I- I got squished, but I- I lived? It's okay, I can maneuver this part easily. In fact, give me the normal camera. These tox boxes moving at like 60 FPS is great, look at it. Uh oh. Okay, thank god. Hey, it's okay, stop. Yeah, I forgot the vulture can technically take your hat. Oh well. My phone's still good. I may have to charge my phone soon. But yeah, like if, if this were my old iPhone, the iPhone 6 that I used to have, which I still have, but uh, if it were that iPhone, it would be... Oh, your, your battery life's gonna last like 40 minutes if you're on Discord, but it's, it's lasted like a few hours right now, <laughs> which is good. Okay. I have 60 coins. I'm not gonna get the red coin star. I'll get that after. Boing. And I'll just climb onto these pillars. Who am I kidding? I'm Luigi. I can do the bat- wait, that, that thing's already open. What am I missing though? Shoot, sugar plum. I'm missing the... Can I make this? I, I think, you know what? I'm gonna try it. If this kills me, I am gonna be in so much pain. Please? Thank you. Sh fly guy? No. Please! I wanna kill him so badly now. I'm playing her- you know what? Take it safe. I've done too much. Yeah, you already got some of the pyramid stars, I see. Because uh, they're, they're turning into the, you know, blacker variants. You know what I'm gonna try to do? Please do not bonk and hit quick quicksand. Please do not bonk and hit quicksand. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think- you know what? I think what I can do... I can get the the blue coins and that'll be enough. And I'll get a hundred. I'll get a hundred. After like ten attempts, I'll get a hundred. Oh come on! I need five more. Damn it! Time to go Goomba hunting. Steve Irwin. <laughs> Wait, hold on, there's like messages on the wall. Does anyone else see that? It says E.T. and like hieroglyphs? Oh my god. This, this game is probably hiding some insane easter eggs about the pyramid lore. I don't know. I think you already told me you got the other pyramid stars. So what I'm gonna do is uh... What happened? I see you just typed fucking oh! Moxie, that happened to me at the Womp's Fortress stage, man. I hate when that happens. <laughs> uh, man. Okay, well now I can technically leave the stage because I have to get the red coins, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, at least it spawns you right out of the stage instead of the castle grounds. That's good. Okay, so you already got that pyramid star. Okay, wor worst case, Moxie, I'll just go to Lethal Lava Land for you, because I don't mind doing it. Uh, but, that, like, you know, hold on. Because, let me let me get the red coins here. And not die, please. Luigi, you and your amazing scuttle jump. Come on. All I have to do is get the red coins. I already got some of my least favorite stars out of the way. Surprisingly, I got the Rainbow Ride Star on my first try. Which is awesome. <laughs> Okay, Luigi. Yeah, Luigi's slightly weaker than Mario, but he's not as weak as Waluigi. Okay, that Goomba can go to hell. What am I missing? I'm missing a bunch of red co- I know where they all are. I know where they all are. And I'm gonna get them. Oh no, Luigi, what? This is it, Luigi. Uh, right, four. I'm gonna go on here and do the other jump. And then I should be able- Nice try, Klepto. That, that's the bird's canonical name, by the way, Klepto. The bird that tries to steal your hat. Klepto seems kinda scummy. He seems cool, but and then once you realize he's after you just for the hat, he's kinda just like a scumbag. <laughs> 
you know, he's, he's the type of guy to, you know, be, be a helpful person, and then he'll eventually, like, manipulate you. Oh, damn, I missed that. And he'll eventually manipulate you into buying his kleptocurrency. <laughs> Bad joke, okay. Was that joke even worth it because I died trying to set it up? Oh, well. Kleptocurrency. Indeed. Worth it. Oh, boy. It's already midnight. But it's okay. I don't mind playing this. I'll play until, like, whenever. I'm doing nothing. But, uh... Uh, getting these red coins. I'm not even a tiny huge island yet, man. Ooh, you know what I could do, actually? I'm gonna change my mapping a bit. Options. Controls. N64 binds. C up. I'm gonna make X. Yeah, so it'll be like an alternate. Up, down, left, right, A, B. Starts L. Does L even do anything? I don't think it does. Uh, let me go back. Uh, back, I mean, back. Perfect. So this is my camera. It's basically like the DS version. Okay. Yeah, L doesn't really do anything. I think in the the other camera version, which I'm not using right now, it, it adjusts the camera and it centers, which is actually cool. You know, I, I like the fact that this PC port has better camera options, but at the same time, I played enough Mario 64 to the point where I don't need better camera options, you know, like... I've, I've been playing this game for, like, I think around at least a decade, so I think I have, you know, the experience... Jimi Hendrix, are you experienced? Yes, I am. I do not need the easy camera mode. You know, it's cool, though. Maybe I'll try playing it with it. I know it's definitely beneficial for other ROM hacks. Like, Star Road has an awesome default camera, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna have to plug my phone in in a little bit, so odds are by the time it's close to dying, that's when I'll do another BRB. Oh, wait, you know what? Wait, you know what? I'm a Luigi, number one. I know just what I can do. Yeah, backflip. Now please don't die right here. The camera is locked, I might die. Ooh, Luigi. Thank you. I almost did that, oh well. Yeah, Luigi's better jump height makes a lot of things easier. I like, I like playing as Waluigi because he had the cool wall jump thing, but aside from that, he was just uh, someone that died in two hits. Alright. I heard I heard Mario say Mamma Mia, so you're near me. I think you are near me. Yeah, where are you? You're over here? Oh, I think you already entered the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, I literally heard Mario's voice, but... Uh, tell you what, Mox. Um, do you want me to do the Lethal Lava Land Star, or, or, or what? Because I'm right here. No? Okay, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna do Haze Maze Cape then. How many stars are we at? Uh, cool, cool, Womps, Bomb. Yeah, I got Rainbow Ride and TikTok Clock taken care of. I got a lot of things taken care of, damn. I mean, you got most of Shifting Sand Land, which is cool, but I got the, the hard stuff. Alright, uh, do I want to do the 100 coins? I'll just do the 100 coins here first. Because I hate the 100 coins here. I don't know if I hate them here more or in Shifting Sandland, because I mean this they both both of these stars have very little chance for forgiveness. Looks like I got the metal cap, like I can be metal Luigi. And then, and they made him like blue. Like like I don't know. Maybe they just made it look a bit better? I don't know. It does look cool, I'll say that. Wait, who am I kidding? I could have gotten could have killed these guys for a couple of quick coins. And you know, maybe I'll do the- will the glitch take me out of bounds? I don't know if it will. Because it did when I was Waluigi. So let's find out. I just go here. Oh yeah, I guess it only 
glitched his wall, Luigi, because now I'm right here. And I'm not going to get that star yet, though. Got a few more coins to get. And I'm not going to get this star either. <laughs> Even though I know I can, but I'm only getting here so I can get a few coins. Little trick. You can also try another way to get that switch. But, uh, uh that was just the easier one. Stupid scuttlebug. Alright, now I just go back up, get coins en route. As long as I don't die at the boulder part, the rest of this 100 coin mission is a breeze. I know I can also BLJ at this stage, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. Might as well get the metal cap. You are certainly struggling with that Moxie, I can tell. Because it keeps on showing up on my screen. Moxie has entered the castle basement. Luigi crawling. get a view of the map. Nah, I don't know, I want to try to get more thumbnail footage. Ah, worst case, I'll just look at the vibes and make thumbnails myself. Might as well get the green demon here. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, now here's where I have to be careful. Because I want to get these fu- Wait, who am I kidding? I'm Luigi, I can backflip. No? Ah, uh, no, you're, you're, you're kidding. <gasps> you're kidding, Luigi! That's stupid! That is so freaking ri He takes more damage than Mario and because of the invincibility- Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna be here. I think outside of this and maybe Tiny Huge Island, there's not many hundred coin stars I'm gonna have a problem with. Uh, you wanna trade, Moxie? I hate this mission. No, who am I kidding? If I'm having trouble here, I know you're gonna have trouble here. <laughs> Keep persevering at Lethal Lava Land, I guess. I'll worry about this stupid cave. You know what? I'm gonna... You know, I'm gonna... Hold on. Yes, I'll do this version again. I just gotta be really careful. I gotta be, like, speedy and not focus on other stuff. Okay. Yeah, some of the voice clips are recycled from other N64. I think that was actually one from Luigi's Mansion, you know, the scream. That's, uh, it's interesting, the voice clips they chose for this. Okay. Come on, I got this. Come on. There we go. Ah. Work. It's almost time to take a break anyway, you know, if we're doing hour-long intervals, at least. I got that. And I go back up and I get the other things. We haven't gotten many stars compared to the first part, but that's because I've been doing a lot of the harder ones and you've been failing at a lot of the easier ones. <laughs> I mean, playing them with two players still speeds up the process, because, like, at least there's progression. Maybe I'll try to get a good thumbnail here. We'll figure out. Paste that in Discord. Okay. All right, let's get a couple out of coins. And now I have to be speedy and careful. So maybe I'll just use the Mario cam, or like you know, the, the other camera. Okay, you know what? I got an idea. I'm here. <laughs> No. Oh god, please. Let me just backflip where the heart is. Let me just backflip where the heart is. Oh. Okay, now I can try. You know, this is going to be really stupid. No. No. No, Luigi. Luigi, jump. Jump. No. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be here all night. Damn the star. Let's go. Uh, I have to get the because you have to do so much work to get the hundred coins here, and you can die there so easily. Oh well, someone's got to do it. <laughs> uh, I see you're still struggling with your star. 
Well, maybe that's what the thumbnail for this part will be. It'll just be a bunch of coins, the, the Mario Brothers really depressed, and Principal McVicker. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, come on. Well, this I've been pulling off that glitch a lot easy, easier. Yeah. Please. So I really just gotta try to backflip with Luigi efficiently. Because I can do it with Mario. It takes so much work, though. Like, like, really, this is probably one of my least favorite stars to do in the whole game. It would be, in the DS version, I think they did make it easier. But at the same time, it's the DS version. <laughs> Actually, I think they made it because if you want to get them, you'd have to, like, do some Wario backtracking. I don't know. So much good can be said about the DS version, but so much bad can be said as well. Metal Luigi, you have your breakdown. You crawl in. Just like that one Linkin Park song. You know, actually, come to think of it, you know, I'll go on this tangent, at, or this little thing I thought of, after I get this stupid part taken care of. But you know what? Can I backflip? Can I backflip, please? Wait, did I kill the spider there? I think I did. I think I might have. Let me check. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. <laughs> Alright. Now, Luigi, I need you to work. Oh, thank you. Now, here's the real risky part. I have to hold down the B button or A button, whatever I have set to jump. Swiftly come back, thank god. Cause it sucks when you're getting the 100 coin star and you get those last and then it's like, ah. Okay, now I have to not mess up any of these blue coins, which I don't think I will, and even if I do, I have a chance at getting some stuff back. Let me kill some of the Zubats here, though. I know they're called Swoopers, but they look like Zubats in most of the games. Okay. Where is the, uh... Sniff it? No. Oh god, I forgot Luigi loses health soon. Oh man. Please. Please. I take it all back, every word. I love you. That's the second time I referenced that tonight. Okay. I forget which way you have to go for this. Oh damn, I do forget which way. Wait, you know what? Is it here? It's here. Thank god, I got like... Oh, perfect! I can just get the red coins now. I can just get the red coins now. That's perfect! Awesome. Oh god, this star is free. Because the Shifting Sandland, even when you have a certain amount of coins, you can still risk dying, but now, now that I have like 80, and I'm done with all the stupid stuff, I can just get the red coins. As long as I don't fall from fall damage, but it's okay. Ugh. And who am I kidding? I'm Luigi, which means I can probably cheese half these red coins. Let's find out. Wow, I, I am... wow. Okay, Moxie, you're probably gonna be on Lethal Lava Land for like, the rest of this part. <laughs> but it's okay. Because, worst case, I can go there in a little bit. Unless... Okay, you know what? That was an idiotic mistake. I need to not fall again, because that means I can die. And I do not want to die here. You'll be here when I get this fine. If we're at 118 stars, though, and you still haven't gotten it, that's when I'm going to come in. So I'm giving you until that long. No! No! I, I, I cannot afford to die here. I cannot afford to die here. I cannot. If it happens, that's gonna be upset of the century game over. 
I mean, I know I already remixed the Mario World Game Over song, and I kind of want to remix it again. Oh god, thank you. Oh, thank you so, so much. Will this work? Can I get this red coin here? Kinda, yeah. Kinda. Alright. So now I just have a couple more trips to make. Oh, thank you. Man, you were just struggling at that star. I can see you entering and leaving the castle basement on my screen. Man. Uh, well, at least the hard part of Haze Maze Cave is almost over. Stupid brick guy out of the way. You know what I can do here? I can actually, I can do a couple things. I'm gonna try doing this. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. At least Luigi can, because he has higher height, he can, he can do that with relative ease. Makes crushing rocks seem like a breeze. <laughs> I unintentionally reference a DK rap there. I didn't even mean to. Wow. Uh, midnight gaming We're with everyone's favorite two idiots. Oh, Beavis and Butthead! <laughs> uh. Okay, wait, I don't need to go here. I have to go and do the other one. At least because I landed soft on my behind, I'll be fine. Uh. Wait, what do you mean 95? Oh crap, I need another coin. It's okay, there's scuttlebugs everywhere. I'll just kill one of them. Perfect. Okay, now I- yeah, just kill the scuttlebug and I got it. That's another hour mark, uh, so I guess I'll take a BRB breather, render- not render, but rather- <gasps> Please, can I get a perfect 100? Nah, I got 101, oh well. So, I don't know, sometimes it's fun. Stupid scuttlebug and damn jamborees. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what you're doing, Mox, but I'm gonna just take a quick breather, so I recommend we, we both just pause as I as I do that, if that's okay with you. Now. Oh, man. Save. Oh, hey, we have 70 power stars. <laughs> Not that it matters. Alright, one sec. Alright. Oh, man. Oh. I guess while I'm waiting for that, maybe I can get another star in between. I mean, we're still technically under an hour, so I'll get the Rolling Rock star. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I know I can get this. And the thing is with the amazing... The, the, the actual maze here, ever since I learned how to do some of the cool wall trick stuff, uh, I, I don't really go into the maze until unless if I'm getting 100 coins, because, you know... It's not that it's hard to maneuver, but, like, it's easier to just wall jump and take the other lanes, right? <laughs> oh. Uh, you there, Mox? I'm kind of just ready to just end this recording real quickly and then make another. Unless if you're still doing Lethal Lava Land. That would be funny. Okay, you can pause. All right, just take a... Quick break. We're gonna call it for this part. Uh, again, we're almost done. I think we can get this done in less than two recordings more. I know we can. I know we can. We damn well can. I'm persevering. He's in hell, and I just went through hell. So we both just got a lot of hard stars done and didn't really do a lot of progression. But hey, we're fine. You'll get the coins this time. You keep at it, Moxie, but worst case, I'm coming in there and I'm doing it myself. <laughs> it's okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it the end for this recording. It's been Mox and Mo. We are chilling and having a fun time. We're gonna keep playing, but as of right now, that's all you'll get for this part. I'll see you in the next one. It's your main man and uncle named Mo signing off.